Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong, and welcome to another episode of Tech for the Rest of Us. Today, we're taking a look at Samsung's Radiant 360 line of speakers, specifically the R3, which is somewhere along the middle of their line of speakers. Now, the R3 was quite impressive when I plugged it up at my home. I'm going to tell you about all the things that it does, the feature set, and most importantly, this thing really moves some air. But you'd have to hear it to believe it, feel it to believe it, because you will feel it. Let's go. So this is the Radiant R3. What do you get with this device? You get a touch-sensitive control top. You get a set of speakers uh, that are the woofers and tweeters, uh, all wrapped inside this cylindrical device that spits out audio in the 360-degree uh, format. It actually is pretty impressive. Now, we've reviewed some uh, products from Polk. We've looked at uh, Sonos uh, personally. And I have to say, I was quite impressed with the amount of air even that the Radiant 360, that the R3 pushes. From about 10 feet away, I could actually feel the lower end of the mids, upper end of the bass or the lows. It was actually displacing a good amount of air so you could actually kind of feel the thump. Now, this isn't feel the thump like if you had some 10-inch subwoofers in your car. Not that kind of thump, but you could actually feel the kick from those mid hits. You could actually feel the kick from those, uh, the top end of the bass spectrum from about 10 feet away. It was really impressive. And it truly is a 360 degree uh, sound because as I was moving around the speaker when I had it in my home, I could, uh, the sound didn't change and it sounded phenomenal. Like some of the other competitors, you can pair two different R3s together for stereo sound. The upgrade to this is if you want to pair more speakers together, you can actually pair them together for surround sound. So you can actually take a set of, a series of the Samsung Radeon R3 uh, speakers and actually configure them to work as uh, surround sound speakers. So that is actually a pretty cool function of it. So not only is it multi-room compatible, so you can have a speaker in each room of your home and pass music from one set of speakers to the next or be playing completely different tracks in different parts of the room. But again, you can set a bunch of different speakers up in one room and use them as a surround sound system. Now, it's important to note what kind of music you can listen to with Samsung's R3. In this case, it'll decode HD audio when we're over Wi-Fi and it supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands from your router. So the audio formats that it will decode, it'll decode AAC, but it has to be uh, DRM free. It'll play MP3s up to 320 kilobits per second. It'll play waves, wave files, uh, up to 192 kilohertz, 24-bit files, WMA files, ALAC files, AIFF files, AUG, and FLAC. Uh, again, the high, the high def files, it will play up to 192 kilohertz, 24-bit files. The multi-room app is compatible with Android version 2.3.3 and above, uh, and iOS 6.0 and above. That's on your iPhone, iPad, or your iPod Touch. Now, the top of the R3 is touch sensitive, so you can pause the music by simply touching or touch it again to play the music again. You can swipe left to right to move through song tracks, and you see the display actually show you that as you move left and right it also lights up left and right volume controls are up top here and the mode so you can switch between bluetooth wi-fi and connecting to your smart tv that's all right here on the top as well so you have this great touch sensitive interface here that is very responsive i didn't have any uh misfires using this when you're connecting to the r3 via wi-fi and your mobile device you can see that even on the screen, you actually have your play pause information. So if you want to pick the mobile device itself back up and go ahead and play from there, you can continue your music from there. And again, you can go back to the touch sensitive control surface and play from there as well. Now you can actually go into the settings and change different functions. You can add more speakers. Like I said, we can do 5.1 surround. You can log into the various services that are available to you via the app. You can go in and uh, update the software. You can turn continuous play on and off. That's a function that allows you when you arrive home, the song that's playing on your multi-room app 
will automatically start playing on the selected speaker. So if you are playing music in your car through the app, it will seamlessly or fairly seamlessly transfer from coming out from the car and into the home to picking up on the multi-room speakers and playing there. You can even set an alarm or sleep timer for the speakers, which is a pretty cool option to be able to have. In addition to being able to go into the settings, you can actually just go into right there from the main screen that's showing your music and set those alarms, set a sleep timer. You can even go in and go in and change the EQ so that you can get just the right amount of thump or treble or just EQ that music to whatever your specific preference in music is. You even have some presets. You can control volume directly from the phone, as you can see here. And even edit the name of that speaker, wherever that speaker might be in your home. So that's the Radeon R3. This speaker, like I said, really, really good. Uh, crisp highs, mids, and lows. Punchy mids and lows. Um, it's, you know, it's not a 15-inch subwoofer, so you can't expect earth-shattering bass. But for the size that it is, for what it is, again, it's really moving some air, really disturbing those air molecules so that you're going to feel it from like 10 feet away. But the only caveat with my recommendation of this device would be that if you're wanting to build a multi-room or multi-speaker system, let's say you want to build out the surround sound or do a stereo pair, these are running at about 229 So in order to get a stereo pair, you're going to pay a little under $500. If you're going to build like that 5.1 system with these speakers, maybe that you've been thinking about building, setting up as a surround sound system, you're going to pay over $1,000 for that. So it's just something you really have to weigh if it's in your budget, if you're really an audiophile, because again, it can decode those HD, those high definition audio files, those FLAC files, AUG files, all those files. So it's really about your budget and what you're looking for. Are you just looking for something to put in the kitchen, something to maybe put in the bathroom, the bedroom, where you can access your music from a mobile device? Or are you really looking to build a mobile, uh, a movable uh, surround sound system that you can listen to maybe in the living room or in the bedroom or in the gaming room? And if you want to move it, it's easy to do that. What are you looking to build? That's up to you. I hope I've made that clearer for you. If I haven't, you can leave a comment below and I'll get to it. If this video has helped you, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Kashaka Armstrong for FoxLA.com.